Hey everyone, welcome to Sea Salt and Company. We are going to edit this image using our newest collection, the Lotus Collection. Here's the before and here's the after, and this is the effect that we're going to go for. This this edit here is super easy, so this shouldn't take too long at all. I'm going to delete this layer as of our after um, as we're going to achieve it. So the first thing I want to do with this image is under uh, the Lotus Collection, the Lotus Blurs, we're going to do the soft spin. So click on your action and press play. Now what you want to do is make sure after the action has played, since this is a brush on, is make sure that you have your brush selected and make sure it is a soft round brush and make sure that white is your foreground color as we are painting on the black mask therefore you need to have a white one white reveals and black conceals I always remember that so we are going to um, and about my opacity of my brush up to 100 and um, I'm going to focus on this blur area just right here in the background not so much in the foreground area just right here in the back so I'm going to just brush over my image to bring in this effect And it's just a soft um, blur fill. It works with the radial blur. So it kind of gives a soft spin, kind of like a magic tunnel in a way. It's really neat. I'm going to come down just a little bit below that tree line, not too, too much. And a little bit behind this little one here, just right in here. I'm really going to leave the foreground alone. Make sure I really painted all that area up there. And if you miss any spots, if you look at your um, layer mask over here, the black is the area that um, we did not go over, and the white shows kind of like where you erased it and applied it. Um, it'll show you if there's any little black specks and you kind of go over it. Um, okay, so we've played that. Now it's a little um, much, so I'm going to dial back on the opacity just a little bit. So up here, where it says 100%, I'm going to put it at about 80% and see if that kind of dials it back a little bit to that perfect touch. And I like that. It's not overpowering. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of the backlight to this image, just right behind our subjects, just a little bit. So I'm click that, and it's also a brush on, so we'll be doing the same thing. And I'm going to press play, and that will play right on top of our blur effect. And once that is played, same process, make sure you have a white, uh, soft, round brush, and your layer mask here is selected. And make my brush just a little bit smaller here. And I'm just going to go around to lighten up just a little bit. And I'm going to fade this out a little bit and kind of lower the opacity so it's not so, so much brighter. But just, just to really make our focal point go to them. And it's super easy. It just brightens up that area around them just a little bit so our eyes don't get lost in the image. Um, it's at 50% right now. I'm going to leave it there until I run our tone on it and kind of see where it's sitting at and if I want to dial it back or maybe bump it up a little bit. So the next, the tone that I want to play is the papyrus and it is right here under your lotus tones. And all you have to do is click on it and press play. I think this is one of my favorite tones uh, of this. I love all the tones, but I really like the warmth and the, the creamy um, orange golden feel. I just, it's really pretty. So what I'm going to do is leave that at 100%. Um, my backlight here, I want to dial back. It's a little too bright right in here. So I'm going to put it at about 20%. And it'll probably be just that perfect, um, let me turn it off and on so we can kind of see. Yeah, that's perfect. So if I turn it back on, it just, just a slight bump in the backlight it really kind of brings them out. I really do like that. So the next thing we want to do, um, the papyrus, the tone, I like it just as is. If you want to, as with any of these actions, you can go through, you open up that group and edit 
each layer within that group um, if you want to you know dial back on some things or you know however you want to do it but I like it just the way it is so I'm going to leave it just at 100% the next we're going to do is run our burst um, to add a little bit of a sun flare to it up in this corner and I'm going to choose the amber tone to really kind of flow with this toning here so I select amber and I'm going to press play and a little dialog box will pop up and it's going to ask you um, it says a, a gradient dial box is going to pop up while this box is open with your selection tool selected move the lotus burst to the area of the image that you would like and when we're finished we'll press ok so just press continue and there's another box that's going to pop up this right here and while this has popped up right here you can move your burst in any part of the image that you want And what I'm going to do here, and this is when this dial box has popped up, and this is on any of the burst, um, I want to make that burst a little bit bigger so the colors um, kind of fade more a little bit. Because if you notice here in the middle, it's really that creamy amber and it kind of fades out to the light uh, creamy orange tone. I want to kind of make them blend out a little bit more. So right here where it says scale, it's set at 90. I'm going to bump it to 130 and see how much it covers. And see how it makes it bigger and really brings out more color I like that and you can still move it around while this box is still popped up so it really makes those colors fade out a little bit more bigger and flow as well with the rest of the toning of our image so I like this right here where it is so now once we get it where we want it we can press OK and it'll set it in that image if you realized after you pressed OK that you don't like it in that area I do suggest you rerun delete that layer and rerun the action so you can set it where you want it to be um, because if I was to move this it's going to be shaped as our image and it's going to become like cornered just like that as you can see there and that's not going to be too pretty to move so I would say just delete that layer and just replay the action it's so easy to play it won't take much time at all I think for this um, burst here what I want to do is kind of dial back on that color a little bit so I'm going to put it at about 80% just to soften that burst a little bit that that worked really pretty um, one thing I'd like to do um, after I played these tones here I would really like to go back and use a primer to kind of really sharpen the image and make some colors pop more like on the subjects clothes and things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my background layer and I'm gonna select my primer 2 I would rather it be a little bit darker so I can get a little bit more deepness here um, and really focus more on our um, subjects here so I've selected primer 2 from the canvas I'm gonna press play and after those played, you can see how it kind of, you know, deepened around the edges and made them pop a little bit more, which I, which, what I was really kind of liking and really going for here. So you can really focus on them. Um, I think an extra little thing I might try is um, bringing in some of the, the color pop, just so maybe I can make some of their clothing pop a little bit more. Um, so let's, I clicked on the color pop. I'm going to um, go ahead and press play. It, you can do it on top of your layer or below down here it's not destructive so you can play it wherever you would like we can also move it as well so I'm going to go ahead and just play it here and we may move it to the top layer we'll just see so after that plays make sure you have your brush selected white foreground color and you have a soft brush here we're going to paint on this layer mask and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller I'm just going to go over her little outfit here I might saturate it too much which is fine because I'm gonna dial back on it I'm going to turn this layer on and off so we can see how much we actually added. Okay, it's off now and back on. Really brought those colors back in, which I like. It's already set at 80%. Let me move it to the top layer and see what it looks like if it is too much. 
I'm going to bring it back down to that layer. I liked it where it's under the other tones. So it affects, okay, it's at 80%. So I'm gonna bring it down to 60%. Just to dial back a little bit on the saturation. And that is better. I wanted that color pop just a little bit, but not too, too much. So the editing on this image is finished. Um, I think it took us maybe five minutes to complete. Very easy to work with this collection and it's fun. And just the littlest things can make the biggest difference in your image. I hope you enjoyed.